You brought some data with you um, about just basically where the bulk of the assets under management live in the ETF space. I'd love to kind of talk a little bit about that because you just mentioned some of those kind of large cap and we know them to be really a lot of mega cap names that they're dominated by. So when you see, and you just also mentioned, it's a very competitive space. And so oftentimes, you know, ETFs will start, they have to start small, right? Like to attract assets, that sort of thing. What, what are some of the biggest drivers for, uh, you know, a new ETF? Aside from performance, is it just is it a big marketing game here? And 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 just talk to us about the life cycle of a lot of the ETFs that you track, how they go from you know kind of sub you know one hundred million to you know over a billion dollars in assets, and then where you know I, I assume we have the eighty twenty rule working here a little bit that eighty percent of the assets are probably in less than twenty percent of the ETFs out there. Sometimes I like to uh, sort of take the position of. Uh, someone who's thinking about entering the ETF space and, you know, what would I want to know? And every so often I do get approached by someone, um, the quote on the top here, I'm thinking of launching an ETF business with the right marketing strategy. I could get between 500 million and a billion within three to five years. Elizabeth, I'd love to pick your brain. Like I get pinged with this sort of thing all the time. And uh, then comes the sad part where I say, you should think twice. A lot of this, this person who pinged me did not want to hear you should think twice and said, oh my gosh, I've heard so much encouragement. You're the first person who said, um, not so fast. And, you know, I think one of the reasons for that is that uh, maybe people don't understand how incredibly competitive and saturated the ETF business really is right now. So, um, this chart right here, I just took a look at the fate of every single ETF that's launched since SPY, which is about to be 30 years old, I'll have you know, right? Just about, about a month from now, the ETF business will be 30 years old. So, you know, not even a teenager anymore, not even a, a young adult, but like really out there. Um, over a third of ETFs that have ever launched are dead. They're closed, they're gone, they have zero assets. About another third are languishing below that $100 million mark. So the rest of the, the landscape, like moderate success between 100 and 150 million, you've got about 15%, about 5% getting close to a billion, and only like 10 to 12% of the ETFs really make it big and hit over a billion.